Uh, guys, um, yes, I'm driving, and I know it's not safe, and I know that I'm going to get grief for it, but I don't care. I'm in all-out whatever mode. Um, nine days out, nine days, thank God, um, I'm past hangry, past hungry. It's not about the food anymore, it's just I am exhausted. I am not sleeping worth beans. Um, I know that has a lot to do with um, freaking out and nervous and a lot to do with my carbs. I'm trying to talk loud because we're in the car and my speaker doesn't really work that well. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, but I'm tired. And so what I'm doing is I'm heading back to Bemidji to just train and sleep and train and sleep and train and sleep and eat at the right time and train and sleep. Um, I basically train by myself. I'll go to the gym with Zach, my boyfriend, but basically I'm just going to do my own thing. I need to be away from people and just do what I need to do. I'm going to rollerblade hard for cardio. I love rollerblading. Um, I like Bemidji in case none of you knew that. But yeah, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to train still a couple days next week during my peak week, uh, train clients. But basically how I see it is my clients deserve the best and I can't give you my best when I am exhausted and I am tired and I want to give you to, like my all. I want to give you feedback. I want to be able to pay attention to you and not how tired I am and how worried I am. So I am taking a little bit of time off for peak week. Um, like I said, I will still be stopping in. I'm going to be doing some FaceTime sessions with clients, so that's kind of really exciting. So basically, yeah, I'm going to be in the house and telling them what to do and still yelling at them. Boot camp last night was awesome. Had a huge turnout. 17 girls. I kicked their butts and they listened to me. And it was super fun. So that was motivating even though I was really tired. So thank you for putting up with me. Um, so yeah, I'm past hungry. I'm, I want to eat my green beans and my chicken when it's time. I crave my egg whites when it's time. Uh, I like my coffee. <laughs> I like it really strong. Uh, right now, what's saving me is these guys. Zero calorie water. There's no sodium or anything in there. I know that I can't have carbonated water here coming up in two days, so I'm just chugging it like none other. Uh, basically, yeah. So that's saving me. I have to do some more research on peak week. Um, some of you don't know, I didn't do a coach for my prep. Um, being a trainer, I'm NASM certified and my exercise science BS background and my kinesiology background, I decided, hey, and I'm kind of stubborn, I decided, hey, I'm going to make my own training um, and I'm just going to do a lot of research. I probably could have paid for a nutrition coach, but I just did a lot of research. I listened to my body. I paid attention to what worked, what happened um, when I did certain things, and I think I kind of figured it out. Still really nervous for peak week. Um, I feel like I retain water, sometimes for no reason whatsoever, and so it kind of freaks me out. I tried, like two months ago, I tried Cellucor L2 just to see how it works. Um, it's a diuretic like dandelion root extract and I retained. I retained bad on it. Now I'm not at all talking crap about Cellucor. I think it um, it works very, very well for other people and a lot of competitors, but it did not work for me. So I think that's really important for you to know that everything is going to be individualistic um, diet and everything. There's some key main guidelines, but really it's all individualized. So um, yeah, Look, I'm driving pretty good. I'm going to get so much crap for doing this while I'm driving. But it's kind of the best time. Um, the only thing that's happening is my arm's getting tired from holding it. I really hope you guys can hear me and I'm not recording five minutes of footage and of nothing. Uh, so, yeah. Starting exfoliating all my skin. I got my skin prep um, guidelines. They're pretty extensive. A little intense. I'm going to have to full body shave and uh, scrub myself down. Shout out to Jen who got me some awesome exfoliators. There's this cocoa coffee extract butter one. And literally it looks like um, you did some mud wrestling in your shower. 
but it smells amazing. So if you do it hungry, be careful. You basically want to lick it off yourself, and I don't recommend that. Um, switching arms. But, so basically, yeah, skin prep starts. Um, getting really excited, deciding on booking a photo shoot or not. Uh, a lot of people think that I should just because you put in all this work. Oh, blinker. Put in all this work, and uh, you should record it like I'm doing right now, but it's pretty photos and poses and stuff. So yeah, I gotta nail down my posing. I don't really know where I'm gonna do that. I'm guessing I'll do it at my parents' house. They have a hardwood floor, and so it'll be good to do it there. Also, I'm going back to Bemidji so I can take saunas, saunas as people call them, but I call it sauna because it's the appropriate Finlander way to pronounce it. I'm gonna do sauna almost every day, um, healthily, don't worry, to, um, I'm used to it, I grew up with them, to water deplete a little bit more. So yeah, I'm really excited, freaking out, freaking out a little bit, really nervous. Besides my sparkling water, I have the giant, that's bigger than my head, coffee cup, mm, full of awesome coffee, it's like caramel, cookie, chocolate, brownie, um, so yeah, it's a high carb day, but it's not even high carbs. I had a little bit of oatmeal, some sweet potatoes, a little bit of banana. Okay, yeah, so it's awesome high carb day. So it kind of kicked it. Now I can feel it. I'm not as exhausted. I showered, so I felt like a human being again. As you can see, all of my stuff is packed. Yeah, it's two large duffel bags. But, um, I took yesterday off. I took a rest day off. And for me, as you guys might know if you know me, rest days are really hard for me. I am one of those people that doesn't like rest days. I feel like I didn't do anything. Um, I really don't mind them usually when I'm not on competition prep. But with this competition prep, I all of a sudden feel like I uh, lost all my leanness. Because I didn't work out yesterday. Because I didn't sweat. Um, and so that's hard mentally, but I know that I needed it. I worked a lot, and so I know that I wasn't getting sleep, but I knew that I couldn't push myself, otherwise I wouldn't be able to push myself for the rest of the week. So I took a rest day. I complained about it the whole time, and today I'm going to go super hard, and I'm excited. I can't decide if it's going to be legs or chest and triceps day, or it might be both. Who knows? It's one of my last two days to lift heavy. Like I said before, I don't want to be super sore and retain water because of muscle soreness during peak week. It's really weird doing a recording still for me. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. Nine days, it's kind of a long video, I'm sorry. About eight minutes, that's rough for you to listen to me yap. Um, hopefully workout footage of this peak week. So thanks for checking in and thanks for putting up with me clients. Now I'm going to see some of you guys this week. Otherwise, you'll see me hopefully lean out even more in here. And then, yeah, we're almost there. Nine days. Bye.